if you could now talk a little bit about um, these upcoming webinars, why, what inspired you to do them, who you think would benefit, the way you've structured them, just if you could speak a little bit about what's coming up live online from you over the next couple of months here. Sure. Um, the first webinar that we're going to be doing is called, well, it's, it's going to be how to make money with your music. I'm not sure what the name is going to be, but essentially it's going to give you ideas on ways that you can hopefully generate income out of your music. You know, one of the beautiful things about where the music industry is today for people who make music is whereas back when I started at a recording studio, you really had to be in a studio to make a record. But now you don't. You can have a really good computer and some good modules and the ability to make good sounds. And you could make beautiful music on a computer without ever having to pay for a studio. That's a beautiful thing. So it, there, all of a sudden, we have a lot of producers all over the world who never would have been able to do that 25 years ago. And now not only can they do it, it's like most Macs come with GarageBand and you can make some good sounding music just with that. So it's, it's pretty amazing and, and so what I want to try to do is, is walk you through ways that you can take your music and start to make money with it. Whether it's creating music specific for commercials, whether it's creating a library that could go into like an, into a place where they license music for lots of different purposes like websites or people's um, independent films or whatever and you submit your music and then they choose it and then they pay for it and you get paid every quarter that sort of situation or putting an EP together and selling it on Bandcamp or trying to get it onto some of the more DJ oriented dance music sites um, or raising money to make music um, all of these things are really important and it's, and it's crucial to understand what your goals need to be as you pursue these different avenues because it's not as simple as it seems and sometimes understanding like oh if I do this I can and I have a bu enough options like this it'll actually help me place one of my pieces of music so I get paid at the end of the day you can make the best music ever but if people don't hear it you know it's just for you and you want to make music that people will hear and you want to make music that will help sustain you and so that you can live off the income that you make from your music and that's not easy to do today so I'm gonna try to give you ways tools and ideas that will help you go back to the drawing board and build your libraries in a really strategic way so that you can try to grow your art to the best possible place it can be but also try to grow your commerce at the same time and be mindful that the two when they meet that's really where you're in your sweet spot. So, so, so the first webinar, make money with your music, or as the working title, and we can think of something more subtle or not, um, is going to be a little bit of best practices of looking at the different current modern avenues to create revenue with your music. So that's the first webinar, and I'm sure that one will be repeated for obvious reasons. Um, the second, what the second one is more of an A and R focus. Could you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, it's A and R artist direction, and the idea is um, it's a two-hour webinar, and we're going to limit each webinar to ten to ten participants only. The reason why is everybody who participates is going to be required to submit one piece of music, whatever you think you're best, the thing you're most proud of, the thing you're happiest with. That's what we want to hear. And we're going to listen to it each. So we have two hours. It's 120 minutes. We have 10 people. So we're going to spend minimum of 10 minutes on each person's song, which includes playing the song and then talking about it, talking about the things that work really well musically, talking about the things that still need to, to be improved, talking about how to hone what you're doing so that it works better, and, and trying to give you encouragement so that you can go back to the drawing board and feel inspired to create a whole batch of new music based on the input that you've gotten. But also, all the students who are participating will be able to chat in and, and, and send their comments on the music. Because I think it's important, like, you, I'm not, I mean, I know what I know, and Danny, you know what you know, 
but I think everyone has a valid opinion and everyone might have something really positive to say or something really constructive to say that could help a fellow student improve what they're doing and make it the best it can be. At the end of the day, if you take that a &R seminar or any seminar that I do, I hope that you'll walk away with a lot of ideas and inspiration to go back to the drawing board and create and create with a purpose. So, and and, and it, once people go through the webinars, they start to see the way you think about things. Some of the things that you've tried that worked, some of the things that you tried that didn't work that you would say that doesn't work like this anymore or it doesn't work mm -hmm. like that ever. If people want to have an ongoing private mentoring a &R management relationship with you, that's now possible. Absolutely. Okay. I mean, I can do either half hour or hour long sessions where we could really go through if you're at that point where you're actually trying to get noticed and you have what you think is a quote unquote press kit, let's go through everything. Let's let's look at all the links that you have. Let's listen to your music. Let's look at the promo pics you have. If you have videos, let's let's see those. Let's hear the work you've done with other people and let's try to analyze it and help you focus. At the end of the day, I don't think I can make every artist a great artist, but I think I could make pretty much any artist better than they are. I can help them improve what they're doing. I can help them find an excitement for the future. And I think that's a lot of what inspires people to just keep creating. And I know that I can help people do that. And I want to have that opportunity. Okay. Um, we're very excited about the upcoming webinars. I'm sure many people are going to want to take advantage of a very unique situation to get a direct contact and feedback from you. Managers are notoriously busy. a and people are notoriously busy and flaky. Uh, it's impossible sometimes when you're independent and not well known to get access to real information. And this is not real information of something that worked in the 90s. And God bless us for getting things going in the 90s. You know, we did. Uh, and that's where we all we started this this journey. But but, you know, best practices now is a moving target. Uh, Technology is changing really quickly. What was true seven years ago is not true today. And yet there are certain classic routes that I think you're going to show with sort of the modern branches of how to get stuff done. And with two current Grammy nominations, uh, a world class touring DJ, a world class celebrated touring band. I think you're in a very unique place to help people and to help people get to the next to the next level. So, Thanks, Danny. Yeah. I really want to do that, too. I really want to help everybody out there. You've been doing it for decades, and you helped me. So get me started and uh, along the way. So thank you, Scott, for taking time today uh, to tell us your story and, and what you're cooking up for everybody. Uh, Thanks, Dave.